Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Jai and in this video we will be hosting a website on EC2 of AWS. First of all, make a Windows Server 2019 instance. Remember to change to all traffic in security group settings of this instance. After we finish setting up, we will change security group settings. Make a new security key if you don't have one. Keep it safe because if you lose your password, this key will help you to connect to the server. For more information, on how to make an instance in AWS, I have a separate video on it. I have given link in the description for the same. Till it's processing, let's make a basic website. We will make a simple HTML web page and a simple PHP web page. Now let's create a PHP web page. PHP info function will give us information of PHP version installed in the system and some information about the system itself. Now our instance is ready. Now decrypt password using the key which we have made. Then download remote desktop file and paste password. Then wait for few minutes. Change the password if you want to for ease of not remembering the long auto generated password. First open Windows Server Manager, it will take time to start. Now navigate to option number 2 which says add roles and features. Click next until you reach the section named server roles then check the checkbox web server iis after clicking to next it will prompt in this prompt click on add features next step is optional but if you want to run website return in php this option is mandatory click next until you reach the role services section Then navigate to application development and then check the checkbox for option called CGI.
again the next step is optional but if you want to run websites written in php this option is mandatory now open the internet explorer on the server it prompts you to allow website click on add and then close it after some prompts it will open its home page after it's done open a new tab and paste the link given in the description box below this link will navigate you to installation page of windows web platform download installer and run it open the web platform installer and search for php then install php now there are other ways to install php but i found this way is simplest of all to get our work done Open IIS Manager and click on Restart. This is the folder where you will keep your website. Minimize the remote desktop window and open browser. Copy the public IP of the server and paste to the browser and hit enter. Let's copy our website which we created a few moments ago. Remember, remote desktop protocol does not allow drag and drop feature, so you have to manually select files and do copy paste. Your website is now live and can accessible from anywhere in the world. Last thing I want to suggest after completion of testing of your website is go to security group settings of this instance and change inbound traffic rules to HTTP traffic only. This won't allow any other connection, it will only allow HTTP request.
Thanks for watching. If you have any question, put them in comments. I will be happy to answer them.